I thought I'd uh, take you along with me. I'm fixing to do my menu planning for the month of March. I used to would do weekly menu planning um, based on what I what I picked up that week at the grocery store and what I had in the refrigerator. But after this year started, I decided let me try to do a monthly menu plan. Now, just because I have it on a certain day of the week doesn't mean that that's what we're having that day. It's just, um, I mean, we probably end up having whatever I have, but it's just kind of rearranged. Let me show you uh, what February looked like. Just a sec. Okay, I got this. This is one of those desk blotter type calendars. And oh, I got it at Walmart for probably five bucks. It was pretty cheap. And so, um, I just go down. I do certain days of the week. I know I'm going to be doing certain things. So, I kind of plan around my schedule. So, you see... I can, you know, I can just pull something. I know I didn't have this on the 23rd, so we're going to have this right here. So, um, but let's just go through. I'm going to flip this calendar over to the month of March. Okay, so here is the month of March. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through and do my work schedule. I work at a bank, so every other week I alternate with another employee on staying late and updating the computer system. I did that this week, so next week is her week. So this week, the, the week Sunday the 7th, I'm just going to put update here. Not this week, and then this week update and then not this week okay so there's my update weeks what that means is I come home later from work than the other weeks so now also again a bank so we stay open an hour later on Friday so I get home late on Friday night whether I update or not so Fridays for me is always leftovers so I'm just gonna put that down All right, my memory card got full, so I had to go download all the photos and then delete. So I just went ahead and all the way down Friday, for the whole month of March, I put leftovers. Okay, so now I just want to fill in with what I know I have in the freezer. So, um, I've got a pork roast, so next Saturday I think I'll throw that in the crock pot. So I'm going to do a... Um, crock pot pork roast and maybe do we'll just have um, canned vegetables because I've got canned vegetables okay let me think of what I've got in because a weekend is a good time for me to do um, some slow cooker things that way I can get other things done do my running around first thing on a Saturday morning and get some other things done around the house for the weekend let me go through and figure out what would be good for Saturdays all right so I went ahead and finished my menu for the month of March so um this is the main cookbook that I tend to use. So um, there's um, there is a recipe in there for these meatloaf muffins, but I just kind of do my own. And um, so I just all it is is meatloaf in a muffin pan. It cooks a whole lot faster. They'll cook in you know you can get you know the meatloaf mixed together and cooked in 30 minutes or less. I mean it's makes a really quick meal. And so, that's the first. On March 2nd, I'm going to do taco salad. March 3rd, egg roll in a bowl. If there's nothing down here, these are my recipes. It's just what I do. Um, then Thursday, I do try, something I do try to do is one time a week, I try to put a soup in. So, I kind of go through the month and figure out what days I want to do a soup. 
And it's just an estimate. I mean, if it's a chilly day, then it's a better day for soup. So I'll just move the soup there. But for this week, I've got a tomato basil soup. It's um, We've had it before. It's in the Southern Keto Cookbook. And I, I like to put the cookbook and the page number. So Friday, we have leftovers. Saturday, next Saturday. Um, this pork roast is a recipe that I got from one of my dad's old girlfriends from years ago and um really good recipe on sunday the seventh i've got cube steak in the freezer and i've got canned southern greens in the pantry and i've had this before and i've, I've got canned salmon in the pantry and i haven't made this in a long time and i've got the salmon sitting right there so i'm just going to make the salmon patties on page 186 in the Southern Keto Cookbook. And then I've got, um, on the 9th, we'll do, I'll do the Keto Enchiladas, just in a casserole dish in the oven. On the 10th, again, Southern Keto, Cheeseburger Mac Helper, which there's no Mac, it's cauliflower instead of macaroni. And I've had this, it's good. And another recipe in that same book is the Cajun Sausage and Rice, that is cauliflower rice. Leftovers on Friday, Saturday, March 13th, will be a taco soup, probably. But there's the recipe in the Southern Keto book. Then, on Sunday, March 14th, I'm planning chicken wings. I do those in my Instant Vortex. It's got a rotisserie basket, and I put the wings in the basket, and they turn out great. Let me change out my battery, and I will be back. Wow, I ran out of room in my memory card, and I went low on my battery all in one video. So, how about that? All right, so, uh, yeah, wings on March 14th, March 15th. I'll just do a pan seared tilapia with some kind of vegetables. March 16th will be a, a sheet pan chicken. I'll just use, um, I've got chicken tenders in the freezer, and I just kind of roll them around. I put, I put. I put olive oil on them and kind of roll them around in Parmesan cheese and stuff like that. And just, you know, some kind of vegetable, broccoli or cauliflower or something. And it all goes on a sheet pan and in the oven. Quick and easy dinner right there. The uh, 17th, Pat St. Patrick's Day, so we're going to have ham and cabbage. So this week right here that we're looking at is spring break. So my daughter will be home for college. So I tried to incorporate things that she would enjoy. So, um, then we're going to have a keto pizza. She will probably have a frozen pizza because it's, you know, it, it, we're just going to make that a pizza night. And Friday leftovers, Saturday the 20th, I'll just do a beef vegetable soup in the, in the crock pot. Um, on the 21st, I'll do, um, spaghetti and meat sauce, which is not spaghetti. It's going to be zucchini noodles. So, I don't even have to add a vegetable because the spaghetti is the vegetable. So, that'll be good. And then, on the 22nd, chicken piccata with some... Um, anytime I do chicken piccata, I do steamed broccoli. Because they just go so well together. The um, sauce from the chicken piccata is really good on the broccoli. And on the 23rd, pan seared tilapia with green beans. 24th, I'll do the cheeseburger soup from Southern Keto. On the 25th, I'm going to do scrambled eggs and bacon. I do my bacon in the Instant Vortex in the rotisserie basket. And I'll probably do a video on how I do that. Um, it turns out so good in the basket. And this is just, you know, breakfast for dinner is just something every, every so often I want it. So this is the one night in uh, March that... Um, I'll have it. It's usually, if for some reason, I don't even know why, I want scrambled eggs and bacon on a Thursday. And this is a Thursday. So it's going to be some Thursday in the month of March that I'll be having scrambled eggs and bacon. And Friday the 26th is leftovers. Saturday the 27th, I've got some, I've got whole chicken in my freezer. So I'm just going to throw the, a whole chicken in the crock pot, season it up, and we'll just have it with some broccoli. And then again, um, using the crock pot again on Sunday the 28th, 
we're going to have the slow cooker pulled pork from the Southern Keto Cookbook. And, I don't know, uh, I've always got vegetables in the freezer, canned vegetables, so just whatever anybody wants, you know. On the 29th, I'll do the Southern Keto recipe for the open-faced Sloppy Joes. Have that with green beans. On the 30th, there's sh uh, shrimp in the freezer. My daughter will not be here. She can't have that. She is allergic, very allergic to shrimp. So, since she'll be at college, I'll have it with steamed broccoli. And on the 31st, I'll have burger in a bowl. It's just basically a salad with um, a chopped up hamburger patty, right? I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. Just And then whatever kind of salad dressing you want. Um, I'll probably do a like a Big Mac type of sauce for my salad dressing. And then I put down over here uh, lunches for my work week. And most of them are recipes. I do like to do salads for my lunches at work for the week. And so I put down several different salads. Um, I've got the broccoli salad from Southern Keto. Um, hoagie in a bowl. This is good. This is really good. Um, this is... Uh, I don't know. All of these I'll probably do a video on because this is something I prep on Sunday so that I have my lunches ready for the whole week and I don't have to even think about what I'm having for lunch. I've already made it. So, uh, broccoli salad, hoagie in a bowl, cornbread salad, chef salad, egg salad. Some of the, what, we got three recipes here from Southern Keto and they're all good recipes. So, yep. There we are. That is my whole meal planning for the whole month of March. Well, y'all, there's my meal plan for the month of March. It's what I do now. Um, like I said, I will swap days around if things don't work out or I feel like something else or, you know, it's just, but it gives me an idea and it's, it's so nice. To be driving home from work on a like a random Tuesday night and you don't even have to figure out what's for dinner. It's there. If it's not that particular Tuesday, I can pick from another day. But everything's there. Everything I do is keto. Even if my daughter's here, she does not eat keto, but she will eat most of this. And she can do her own thing if she doesn't want anything, but the majority of the food that I make, she eats. And if she's home, like, like for spring break, I made sure I put things in for the week of spring break that she will eat. So like the salmon patties, she doesn't like those. So I made sure I did that on a week that she's not here. So, but uh, she'll be home for spring break and she'll eat all of that because it's, it's just, those are foods she enjoys. And she's usually home for the weekends too. So I try to make sure on weekends it's something that she'll eat. But that is it. That is my menu plan for the whole month of March. And I'll see y'all later. Bye.